Welcome back to World History. This is Mr. McCall. Today's lesson, our goal is for you to be able to explain how the domestication of plants and animals created a stable food supply and led to important changes. We're going to look at four different areas, how it led to changes in four important different areas. Now, when we talk domestication, let's be clear, this, is, this means that it was making plants and animals useful to humans. Now, if you look at this bear, that's not domesticated. That is not useful. This, this gentleman seems to be having a rather difficult time with this bear. That's not a domesticated animal. In addition, this shows us another thing that hunters and gatherers had to deal with. Hunting was dangerous. This was not as safe a life as farming. So there's a lot of things that lead people to leave this type of lifestyle and become farmers. All right, so let's move on. Let's, let's talk about this. These are the four different areas we're going to discuss. We're talking about shelter, their homes, communities, the groups they lived in, jobs that they had, and trade. So let's start with the Paleolithic. Their shelters were easily transported because... The Paleolithic hunter-gatherers were nomadic. Now, their communities. Communities were small hunting bands, is what I'll call them. And they were small because you don't really have a, a big community if you're just hunting and gathering, because there's always the chance that you won't have enough food for all those people. As far as jobs, there were two. You were either a hunter or a gatherer. And as far as trade, I'm going to put minimal. There was not much trade at all. Now let's move to the Neolithic age. They start farming. They get a stable food supply. They're going to have permanent shelters. Now, when they have permanent shelters, that's going to lead to establishing bigger, larger communities. Even settlements, which are like small villages. Let's talk about jobs. There's all kinds of jobs. There's art, tool makers, artists. Clothes makers. Let's hyphenate that. Farmers. There's just a lot of different jobs for people. And as far as trade, trade helped helped these individuals acquire resource resources. So if you did not have the resources that you needed, you were able to trade to get what you needed. All right, so let's <clears throat> let's take a look at this. You should have this. All right, let's take a look at this. Now, I'm going to give you a couple seconds just to think about which one is which. Which one's Paleolithic, which one's Neolithic. All right, so what we have here is the Paleolithic. Now, when we look at the Paleolithic, we see their shelter is temporary. We see hunting. We don't see much gathering, but it's a, it's a winter landscape, so not much. But there is a lot of evidence of hunting. Now, as far as a community, this is a pretty small one. Now, when we look over here, we have some shelters that are more permanent. We see some wood frame, early wood frame houses. We see some uh, domesticated animals. Now, if these were wild, it would not be safe for a kid to be walking around beside them. But since they're domesticated, it's, it's not as bad. It's, it's a safe, safe thing. We have some gathering. Oh, excuse me, this is not gathering. This is a, a plot. They've domesticated these plants. So this is not ga 
gathering. This is farming. So we have some plants over here. We have a crop over here. We have a crop over here. And we see quite a few people. Quite a few people. All right. Well, that's what I wanted to discuss today. I hope this was informative for you. Take care.